Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, January 13th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon uh, if you want access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. So the link is down below. We'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see, we have rallied to the previous highs here and then given gave most of those gains back so the top at this current stage is at 1370 and we're trading at 1363 at this current point so what happened was that we basically ran into the top of the bullish band and pulled back and now we're going back towards the 20 exponential moving average so yes this was a highly um, expected that we would run into major resistance in this area. I think that we're going to turn around here, head back towards the probably the 40 or the 50 moving average, and then go higher. If we bounce from the 20 exponential, then that is a very bullish sign that we are going to go significantly higher, probably break this uh, previous highs here. So we're just doing more of the same. Every time we break towards the 50 moving average, the 40 or the 20, that is basically all of them buying opportunities. No interest in basically selling this. Every single pullback is basically a buying opportunity at this stage. So we are overstretched. A pullback towards the middle of the bullish band here. That is very likely. Uh, 1357, there's where some buyers will come back in. If we fall uh, even closer to the bottom of the bullish band, all the way down here at 1334 and then there's going to be a lot of interest and a lot of buying occurring at that price level so if you look at technical indicators they are more or less turning around becoming bullish you can see the stochastic here sorry this is our chart so yes the stochastic has crossed the signal line and it's become very bullish the macd is basically flat at this point the rsi is bullish and the cci is flat so in order to enter this market, I would wait until we get down towards these levels here, roughly uh, the bottom of the bullish bottom, if that's possible, or these previous lows. And then you can see whether or not it turns around. Stop loss underneath and then a target of, of these previous highs um, in the beginning. So let's look at the US dollar yen. So we went all the way up towards the, um, the top of this trend line yesterday, and then we started breaking down so we can get rid of that so this was the selling opportunity this is where we started selling it broke down all the way down below the 20 exponential moving average and then today we have rallied again and this is a very very common you rally break down to near than half then you rally again towards the half and then you continue even lower so the 20 exponential is uh, holding uh, a little bit at this current stage but it's just a matter of time before we break towards these lows. So 102, uh, that is uh, 102, 567, that is where we are targeting at this point. Technical indicators are turning around. You can see the stochastic is crossing the signal line. We have the we have the um, CCI is basically flat. No, the RSI is flat. The CCI is becoming bearish, and the MACD is also looking very flat at this current stage. So at this point. The bottom of the bullish band here, or basically these previous lows, that is our target. It may be a lot of choppiness going down because you guys can see if when we last time we hit the top of this range, it took, well, nearly two weeks before we fell significantly. And now we have already started falling significantly and we'll see some pullbacks and then gradually go lower. So it is... Well, yes, it is possible still to start selling this. It is not as good as it was back up here, of course, but it is still possible to sell this at this current stage. The 50 moving average has also been a selling point for the US dollar yen. We have been on this downtrend and and um, selling opportunities have occurred, especially when we have hit the 100 moving average or the top of this range or the 50 moving average, especially. So. Euro US dollar, as you can see, we have pulled back quite significantly today, but we're trading just above the 50 moving average. And uh, as long as that is the case, I expect a rally from here. We are hitting the bottom of the bullish band. 
Uh, Techno indicators are fairly bearish at its current stage. You can see the MACD is very bearish, the C RSI is very bearish, the CCI is bearish, but the stochastic is turning around here. So we may stay here for a while. The US dollar has been appreciating and that is basically taking a toll on this currency pair. And uh, when the US dollar starts to depreciating again, this will start um, climbing again. So at this, at this point, a target of these previous highs is what we are looking for. That's roughly 200 pips or 1.65% increase. That's a fairly good trade. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. As you can see, we have fallen yet again. We rallied yesterday and now we're falling back towards the um, 20 exponential moving average. And this is also due to the fact that the US dollar is appreciating um, a fall back towards the 20 exponential um, that has been a buying opportunity for a very long time now. And uh, it's also something that we are looking into because, yes, pullbacks towards the 20 have been uh, have been very good buying opportunities. So from the 20 towards these previous highs here, that's an uh, uh, increase of roughly 141 pips or 1.84% increase. So a fairly good trade if we manage to get all the way down to the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, the CCI is, RSI is flat, the CCI is flat, and the stochastic is turning around here and will probably um, on Friday cross the signal line. So we may see a pullback um, on tomorrow and on Friday session we will see a continuation towards these previous highs. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We rallied up towards the 50. This was your selling opportunity. It has been um, basically the selling opportunity for a very long time now. Every time we got close to the 50 moving average, it uh, has fallen drastically, even the, and even better the 100 moving average here and here. Otherwise, it's the 50 moving average that has been triggering these sell-offs. So at this point, it is too late to enter this market, in my view. Um, this is the bottom of the market at this current stage. So 12 is 63. If this breaks, then we are going significantly lower. Technical indicators are, well, they're flat or bearish. So MACD is flat, the RSI is flat, very low. So there's not a lot of room to the downside. So a pullback towards the 40 or the 50, that would probably be the chance to enter for a short. Uh, the CCI is bearish, the stochastic is becoming bearish. And uh, you can see here in the bullish band, it looks like we ran into resistant here, broke down, and now we're almost at the bottom of the bullish band. And that is an indication that we'll pull back from here. So we did another trade or two other trades. So we were looking at the US dollar Swedish crown. So you can see that we have been rallying up towards the 40 and now the 50 and the 50 should be significant resistant in, in this uh, currency pair you can also see that the stochastic is turning around quite aggressively here so expect uh, a fairly big pullback towards the bottom of this range so us dollar is appreciating that is increasing the value the value of this currency pair you can also see that we are way outside of the bullish band at this current stage so it is still possible to sell into this with a stop loss on the uh, above and the target of these previous lows. However, other technical indicators are still, they are still underneath, for example, the MACD is still under zero, but it's bullish. Um, the CC RSI is bullish and the CCI is flat at this point, but there should be a lot of resistance when we get close to the 50 moving average. And then there is the Euro Swedish crown. Same thing here, we have rallied significantly up towards the 50 moving average, and now we are way outside of the Bollinger Band and are expecting a major pullback back towards the bottom. We have tested the 50 moving average uh, several times in the past, and every single time we have these drastic falls. So it's these are two trades, both are for Euro and Swedish crown, and uh, the US dollar Swedish crown, and at this point they are still uh, selling opportunities with stop losses, of course, above and take profit at the bottom. So hopefully you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.